Hello and welcome to this price of job tutorial. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the quantities measure tool in the new takeoff module in price of job. One of the primary functions of a takeoff is establishing the quantities of various items on your floor plans and elevation drawings. To access the quantities tool, navigate here to the tool panel and select the quantities tool. This allows you to calculate a broad range of items, including lights, smoke detectors, sockets, consumer units, telephone points, drainage, radiators, doors, windows, columns, beams, and anything else that you might require. So for example, let's calculate the number of spotlights in this floor plan. So let's drag this to our center and scroll in with our middle mouse wheel. And with the quantity tool selected, this opens the quantity tool toolbar. So for our spotlights, we can first select a shape for our spotlight. So there's a variety of shapes we can choose from. I think for a spotlight, a circle would seem appropriate. And we can choose a color as well. I think for lighting, maybe yellow would seem appropriate. And that's quite large for a spotlight on our floor plan. So for our width, let's change this to 250 millimeters. But because we want our width and length to be modified together in scale, let's link these together so that when we adjust the width to 250 millimeters, the length automatically adjusts as well. Now we can go ahead and start planting spotlights in our floor plan. So for the dining room, we'll require four spotlights. And so we'll just click on the dining room to place those spotlights. In the living room, we'll require nine spotlights. So we'll just plant those in the living room like so. And in the kitchen, we'll also require four spotlights. And now that we've placed all of our spotlights, we can press the escape button to exit our quantity tool. And we can see that our spotlights have been tallied here for a total of 17 spotlights throughout the floor plan. Let's go back to our quantity tool again, and this time let's place some pendants. So we'll go back to our group and we'll find pendants. And we'll adjust the size of these, say to 300. And we'll keep that linked so that the length and width are equal. And we'll change the shape of our pendant to a triangle and change the color to something a bit cooler. And now we can go ahead and place a pendant in the bedroom and in the shower and another one in the hall and perhaps one more in the WC. And once our pendants are placed, we can press the escape button again to exit the quantity tool. And Price of Job has calculated the number of pendants that will be required throughout our floor plan. Now let's close this group and we'll do another quantity. This time, let's select toilets. So we'll scroll down through our list to find our toilets. And I don't see it in the list, so we'll go ahead and input this manually. And then we can choose a shape for the toilets. So we'll scroll down, and we actually have a shape for that here. So we'll select toilet, and we'll change the color of this to gray. And now we can go ahead and place a toilet here in the shower. And we'll click here to place the toilet. And one more here in the WC. And that's our toilets place. So we can go ahead and press escape to exit the quantity tool. Now that we've placed our toilets, we can zoom in on these and select the toilet we just placed. And if I zoom in closer here, you'll be able to see that we have some rotation lines here. We can use these to rotate the toilet to whichever position we require it to be. And if we hold the shift button, it will automatically lock to the nearest 45 degrees. So We'll have this one facing this direction and then we can grab the toilet and position it properly and there are also some grab handles here that we can use to adjust the size of the toilet and if we hold the shift button it will keep the toilet in scale and so let's do the same thing for the water closet we'll select this toilet and hold our shift button so that it locks to 45 degrees and then we'll just reposition this as necessary. Now, if we wanted to duplicate this toilet, we could do so. You see, there is a plus button here. We could just click on that, and that duplicates the item. If we don't need that duplicate, we can just select it and click Delete. Here we can do the same thing for the spotlights. We can see here, I'll just pan over so we can zoom in. And here we could rotate this lamp or duplicate or adjust its sizes. We can use this same method 
to place just about every item throughout the house, including smoke detectors, heat detectors, telephone points, and everything. So let's add another element, activate the quantity tool, and this time we will select something. We will add a heat detector, and we'll change the shape of that to a square, change the color of that to red, and we'll place that in the kitchen. And then we can escape to exit the quantity tool, reopen. This time let's add some smoke detectors. And we'll change the shape of that to a tick mark. And we'll change the color to green. And then we can go ahead and place our smoke detectors. One in the dining room, one in the living room, one in the hall, and one in the bedroom. And then we can press escape to finish that. And as we go through, each of our items is being calculated in the groupings here in the tool panel. We can also use this to add doors. So click the quantity tool, go through our categories. And we have categories for external or internal doors. So let's add internal doors. And this time we'll select a tick mark again, but this time we'll change it to orange. And then we can go and place a tick mark for every internal door. For each of the items that we've added, we can toggle the visibility to see all the various items, which makes it easy to see at a glance. We can even use this for planting columns on the exterior. So for this one, we'll just select a new category. This time we'll select columns and we'll choose a shape for this, choose a circle, and we'll make our columns black. And then we can plant these across the front of the building. And then if we need to, we can use our dimension tool here to measure the distance between these columns so that we can be sure they're evenly spaced. We can also place all of our various down pipes. So we'll just go to our groupings and select down pipes and we'll change our color We'll keep it as a circle, but we'll change our color to a gray. And then we can place our down pipes on each corner. So we might have one here and one here on every corner. If we need to make adjustments, we can escape the quantity tool and select a specific down pipe. Perhaps this is a two story down pipe. So rather than a height of 2400 millimeters, we would set this one to 5000 millimeters for a two story. And this one would be 3,000 millimeters for a single story. Same thing with this one, 3,000 millimeters. And this one, a two story, five meters. And now all of your downpipes have been calculated. In addition to quantity, you can also measure the height. And that's how to use the quantity tool in the takeoff module. Thank you for using Price a Job.